what's up it is the chinchilla notebook here and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to be doing a video on reacting to my subscribers chinchilla cages and i'm really excited for this because any videos where you guys get to participate i'm really excited for and i know that you guys are as well so pretty much i have a bunch of pictures that you guys sent me and i have them all here on my phone i did have to narrow them down so i have 37 pictures that i'm going to be rating today but I didn't, I wasn't able to fit all of them. So if you entered a picture and you never, you know, it doesn't make it to the video, it's not because I didn't want you in the video, it's just because it's just too many for me to look at and talk about. If you sent me in a cage, I am not trying to criticize you harshly. I'm not being mean, I'm not preaching at you. You sent me in a cage to get my honest opinion and evaluation of it. If you don't agree with me, you know, some things are truth. You can't argue with truth or fact. You can't argue with opinion. But a lot of these things I'm going to say, my opinion's not in it. This is all truth and fact. I'm going to try to be as educated in my evaluations as possible. I'm not here to give my opinion. I'm here to give the educated answer on how a chinchilla cage should be. So please don't get offended. I'm not, that's not what I'm here for. And if you sent in a picture, I'm sure you're already aware of this. So that being said, let's just jump right into it. We have a lot. So this is going to be a lengthy video. All right, so I'm gonna kinda move the camera so I can put the picture on the side. So the first cage I'm looking at here, it looks like a really good size cage. It's tall, which is what chinchillas need. And there's a nice wheel on the top and it looks pretty good to me. I can't tell if the pans are made out of plastic or if they're covered with anything, but it looks pretty good. I would just make sure that there's no plastic or mesh that ch the chinchilla is walking on. Cage number two looks pretty good. I like this cage, it's decorated well and it looks like there's plenty of ledges in there. Cage number three. This is really cool. That's really unique, actually. I love this. And this is kind of what I want to do for my cages. I want to open up this middle thing, just take it completely out, and just fill it up with ledges. I love how much wood there is in there, and your chinchilla looks like he has a fun time. Cage number four. So I do see there's mesh on the bottom of this cage, which is not good for chinchilla's paws. Not only can it cause bumblefoot, which is like an irritation where the feet swell up, but it can also rip off their toes or paws and you really don't want accidents like that to happen. Chinchillas jump randomly really fast so you don't, you know, you just want to be safe. And I would also, the, the height of this cage is not the best. I mean, I can't really tell. I can't tell from this angle so I'm not going to say anything about the height. But I also think I see a little plastic blue wheel on the very bottom right. I would get rid of that because most likely it's not 15 inches in diameter and it's also not safe for chinchillas to have plastic. Cage number five, this looks like, it's a pretty unique cage which is cool. And it looks, from what I can see, it looks okay, but I do see plywood in the back, which is actually toxic for chinchillas. If chinchillas chew that, it can rip up their inside. It's just not, it's not good for them to chew plywood for obvious reasons. It's just not the best wood out there. And then I'm also worried about the ventilation on this cage. Not sure if they're getting enough airflow. That's why cages with just bars all around is the best for chinchillas. But I mean, it looks good, but I'm a little skeptical about the kind of wood that you used. Number six looks pretty good to me. That's kind of cool how you have that little hut thing. I would just add more ledges. Chinchillas really need ledges more than they need huts or hammocks or anything like that. They need ledges to jump on and hop on. So I would definitely add more ledges in there. And then number seven, this, I like the colors of the fleece and the toys in there. There's just some plastic pans I see. And I don't know, some people's chinchillas don't chew plastic, but overall it's best to stay away from it just in case they start to do it one night and you're not aware. But just stay away from plastic. So I would cover those up if you can. Number eight, I see some flying saucers in here, which again, I'm not sure if these are the right size. So I'm not going to judge off that, but they are plastic and there's plastic cuts in there too. Chinchillas, and, and then I also see some ladders with some bars, which is not safe for chinchillas at all. For the same reasons, it's bad for their toes and their feet. So I would replace those with some ledges and definitely try to get wooden huts and maybe replace those uh, plastic flying saucers with metal ones. Number nine, it looks like it's a really good size. It's so cool that they have four <laughs> levels for their chinchilla. I do see these ramps here that are, I, don't, I can't tell if they're plastic or metal, but... I'm sure by now you know plastic is not the best option for chinchillas, but this is a really good cage. So if those are metal, then it's it's really good. Number 10, this cage, unfortunately, is very, it's not an ideal cage for chinchillas. 
it's very small it needs to be taller than this and i do see that there's a mesh wheel which is probably not the right size and even if it is 15 inches in diameter it's not safe because it's made out of mesh people don't really understand the risks of mesh but it is not good or safe for chinchillas and then also the bottom of the cage is made out of meshing there and same with the ledges and there's also that PVC pipe. Chinchillas are not supposed to be exposed to PVC pipe in case they start to chew it. Some chinchillas don't chew it, and if yours doesn't, I guess it's not a big risk, but there is the you run the risk of them starting to pick up on the habit of chewing it. So for this cage overall, I would get a larger cage, more ledges, and replace the mesh and the wheel for sure. So number 11, this looks like a pretty good cage. I, th I think I see... Um, what's that material hardwood on the bottom of their cage is like the flooring that's really cool I, I mean I don't see a way that your chinchilla could start chewing it so that's really cool and unique and this cage looks like it has a, enough ledges everything looks good to me all right so number 12 this is again a really cool cage I love how this looks it's really large and they have poop guards in there which is awesome plenty of interesting toy ledges okay so number 13 I absolutely adore this cage. I cannot tell you how much I love this cage. It looks so cool and the print in there, the leopard print is just adorable. This is like some aesthetic goal of a cage that I would wish I had, but that's a really cool cage. Number 14, so I do see plastic on the top. Well, actually I see that there is fleece over the plastic and it doesn't cover the enti plastic entirely. Again, this could be a risk if your chinchilla is chewing it. I would get the fleece covers the fleece liners that are like a pillowcase like mine they kind of go over the entire thing so the chinchillas can't chew it at all but other than that it looks like everything else looks pretty good and number 15 these are this is like three levels of a critter nation that's so cool i want to kind of do that but i don't know if there's like enough room over here for another level it doesn't look like there is but this is really cool the cage looks very well decorated there's plenty of ledges that's really awesome. So number 16, again, this cage looks really good to me. There's a lot of interesting things in there for your chinchilla to do and to keep them busy, which is awesome for chinchillas. Number 17, again, they took out the middle piece, which is kind of cool because your chinchilla just can run up and down. This cage looks awesome. I don't have any complaints about it, or not complaints. I don't have anything to say about it that you should change. All right, so number 18, this wheel looks like it's large enough. There's a good flying saucer on the bottom and... It looks, it looks awesome, like you put a lot of effort into this. I do see PVC pipes on the top, and again, unless your chinchilla chews that, it's not a huge risk, but I would just continue to watch them closely because PVC is very, very toxic for chinchillas. It's another kind of like a plasticky material. Um, again, my only concern with this cage would be the ventilation in it, and you know, that's why cage cages with barring is better all around, but if you can make sure that your chinchillas have enough air circulation in there without having a draft on them then that would be fine number 19 looks pretty good to me um there's nothing that really that i would change in that i like how there's a lot of hanging toys for your chinchilla to play with number 20 it looks pretty cool and unique i like this cage see i like when people make their own cages because it's unique and interesting but at the same time again just make sure your chinchilla is having a good ventilation airflow for this and then number 21, I like how they have poop guards because I kind of want to make some or get some because, you know, the mess gets kind of a lot for chinchillas. But as far as this cage is concerned, everything looks good to me. And I really like that little wooden hut in the corner with the chinchilla cut out. That looks kind of cool. Number 22, this is really cool cage. I love how this looks, but I do see plywood in the back. So be And another concern about plywood is even if it's like flat against something, Plywood is made up of a bunch of uh, like little pieces of wood stamped together so your chinchilla can rip it out and outward and just chew it, which is not good for chinchillas. Plywood is very, very bad for them. So that's my concern with this cage. And then the wheel, I don't know what size it is. I can't tell. But make sure it's 15 inches in diameter. I mean, the reason why I... Oh, we lost him. <laughs> the reason why I tell you guys to make sure your cages are 15 inches in diameter is because chinchillas have very sensitive spines and they need to have that, that height in their wheel in order so that their spine doesn't get injured by bending in a, consistently in a bad way. So number 23, I love the bee print. That is so cute. Honestly, it kind of looks like my bee print on this, but not quite. That's so cool though. I love how that looks and this cage looks really good. I mean, he's hiding. I don't know why he's back there. What are you doing? All right, so cage number 24. I see plastic, so I would cover that up if I were you. And then also, it kind of looks a little empty. 
there's only one hideout hut i don't recommend that chinchillas need more than that so i would add at least two more and you know if you want to know where you can get hideout huts you can, i got this one from PetSmart. you can get them on amazon you can get them from az chins there's really a lot of places to buy huts so i would put more huts and definitely more toys it doesn't look like there's a lot for your chinchilla to do in there number 25 it looks good as far as the that cool wooden thing in the corner i would just add more toys in there again just to make it interesting and merlin is running on his wheel all right so cage number 26 here this cage looks really bright and colorful and fun that's cool but i do see a rope in the middle i don't know what material that's made of but i'm pretty sure it's not the best for chinchillas if they chew it but i don't know my only concern with that is that they would chew the fabric at the end and swallow it which is definitely not good for chinchillas so i would just consider that and other than that, it looks pretty good to me. It looks interesting. So for number 27, this looks like a really cool cage. And it's really decorated nicely. I like how this is. I don't know the kind of wood that you use. But again, make sure that when you make your own cages, you need to make sure that the wood you use is safe for chinchillas and not toxic. Because there are woods that are not good for them. Number 28, this is a really interesting cage. I love how the wheel, it kind of looks like a critter nation. Or not a critter It kind of looks like a chin spin, but it's colored on the inside. So that's really cool. And it looks really interesting. I like how the little there's a food bowl on the bottom that says Peggy on it. That's really cool. So I really love this cage. All right, Merlin, he's trying to hide. So number 29, this cage looks like a good size. It is, there's, I think there's two chinchillas in there. So it looks like a good size and there is a wheel. So that's good. Number 30, this cage looks a little bit on the short size, I, a short side. I would maybe consider getting a little bit of a taller cage with more height on it. But they have some B print on the bottom that looks really cool. And the wheels are really pretty color. So I would just maybe think about getting a long, like a taller cage. Number 31, this cage looks tall enough it's just a little small as far as the width you see I, I put a lot of emphasis on height but the width does also matter a little bit um so i would just maybe add some more toys in there as well as a little bit of a bigger cage overall just a bigger cage number 32 this looks really cool i love how many ledges there are your chinchillas must have so much fun in there and looks like you have two so that's really cute and yeah this looks like a really good cage so number 33, this is really unique, and oh my goodness, I can't even imagine how much fun Merlin would have in a cage like this. This looks really cool. For all the people that put so much effort in their cages, that's really awesome of you. That's probably so fun for your chinchillas. So number 34, this cage looks really fun. I don't think I've ever seen a cage this decked out, like just looking really fun and full of toys. I do see, I don't know if I'm seeing this correctly, but I do see a couple of stuffed animals in there, and... I would remove those from the cages. Chinchillas really should not be having stuffed animals in their cage because if they rip them by chewing them, which happens a lot with chinchillas, the stuffing inside can get out and they can chew that, swallow it, and choke on that. And it's really dangerous. You should not have stuffing available to your chinchilla. So I would get rid of those and replace them with fleece stuff. Like I have this fleece pillow. He literally peed on it today. But I have this fleece pillow that he loves to play with and drag around and sleep on. But it's, it's safe because if he tears it open, there's only flea scraps inside that he won't choke on. I also see a snack shack little thing on the bottom. Those are not safe for chinchillas. The ingredients are very toxic to them. It has honey along with other really unhealthy ingredients. So I would remove that too. Everything else looks okay to me. So number 35, this cage... I would, I see that there's a wheel on the bottom of this cage that's not a good size for chinchillas. It's also made out of plastic, so I know the brand of that. He just keeps moving. And that wheel is not the best for chinchillas, so I would replace that with a bigger wheel that is not plastic as well, or mesh. And along with this, I would add some more edges on the ledges on the top because it looks like there's none. And a couple more chew toys to make it interesting. Number 36, this cage looks good to me. I do see plastic ledges, but... Um, you know, I would take care of that by covering them with fleece or something or just replacing them with wooden ledges. I also see on the very top a little, I forgot what those are called. It's like for guinea pigs or rabbits, they make them. They're like a fluffy, cuddly little bed thing. But there is stuffing inside of there as well as the material on the outside is probably not the best for chinchillas to chew. So I would get rid of that. So number 37, this cage 
there is this uh, it's a good size but there is a flying saucer on the top that i don't think is the best size again i can't really tell from the pictures i'm just assuming here so if it if it is a good size and you know that don't worry about it but if it's not 15 inches in diameter i would replace that preferably with a metal flying saucer and other than that maybe add a few more ledges on the top because i see that there's none on the walls and that's really important for chinchillas it looks like we've made it through all of them i kind of try to do a quick evaluation because there's so many and <laughs> I feel like I kind of tripped up with my words, but hopefully you guys were able to understand what I was trying to say about the cages. Again, I'm not saying this, I know it may seem like I'm critical, I'm not saying this to offend you guys or call you bad owners in no way. The fact that you even cared to submit your cage to get it judged. All right, Merlin. That, show, that alone just shows me that you really care about your chinchilla. So if you submitted a cage, I really appreciate that because a lot of people don't even care to get the criticism. Some people, I, I'm sure, are already aware of that. Their chinchilla cages are, you know, well decorated, well taken care of. But um, some people just, they, don't, they know that their cage is not the best. They still don't care to get an opinion on it. They don't care to change it. So if you take this constructive criticism well and you apply it to your chinchilla's life, their cages will turn out more suitable for them and they will have a better lifestyle. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you in the next video. 24 hours ago I was just sitting home me and my phone got a text from my